Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today's video because it is going to be kicking off a series that I am bringing with me into 2024. And it is going to be essentially based around monthly palette inspirations. So every single month I'm going to be doing monthly palette picks um, and just like kind of shopping my stash throughout my palette collection for palettes that are kind of giving me seasonal, not seasonal, monthly inspiration for that month. So for example, today I've selected 12 palettes that are kind of giving me just wintry inspiration as we head into January. And so I'm going to show those with you today. And then I'm also going to be sharing how I got this look on my eyes today. So at the end of every monthly palette inspiration video, I will be doing a look using as many of the palettes as I can to create a look that's kind of giving me inspiration today. I wanted to do something a little bit frosty and just something wintry. Um, and I actually kind of like the way that the look turned out. Maybe you don't, I do. Um, and then also I will be sharing every single month I'm going to be doing a BYOP with my Natasha Denona midi palettes and I created this kind of off camera if you guys would like to see whether it be in this video if it's in this video I might get a little bit long but that's okay I'm, I'm fine with that I feel like it kind of makes sense to put it in this video if that's what you're wanting to see or if you want a separate video or if you just don't care how I build it but you just want me to share what's in it let me know but I think it'll be really fun to kind of just play around with my Natasha Denona midis you can pop the pans out and then obviously like mix and match throughout your palette so I just created a January inspired Natasha Denona midi palette as well and I'm going to try and get as much use out of these as I can this past month. I haven't quite decided like if I'm doing like a separate concluding video where I, sh where I share as many looks as I did with these palettes or I have other like series that I'll, I'll have that you'll see looks that I created in the palettes that I that I use. I am going to do no pan left behind this year and I will choose each month one of the palettes that I am inspired by that month to try and no pan left behind as well. If I get to other palettes no pan left behind throughout the month that's great but specifically in my no pan left behind series. I myself will be choosing, it won't be at random, I will choose one of the palettes that's giving me monthly inspo to try and no pan left behind. I really was just trying to think of, um, I really was just trying to think through my content and obviously I wanna do project panning on my channel but I kinda wanna scale back just a little bit and we always talk about how much I love eyeshadow palettes but I don't wanna just have it be focused on like, I was just trying to think through series that could be palette focused that wasn't necessarily me like buying all the new palettes I will still buy new eyeshadow palettes but I thought this would be fun and kind of a way to shop my stash each month for palettes that I want to focus on hopefully help me get more use out of my palette collection as a whole so if you guys are interested stay tuned I would also love if you have feedback or things that you want to see out of this series let me know in the comments below you guys always have amazing ideas and so I like to take your ideas and add them into the series as we go along but if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content, palette themed content, or just chit chatting about makeup, I'd love you to consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's jump into the video. All right, I braided my hair and it's like feeling a little bit flat. I'm gonna have to curl it a little bit more later today. Um, okay, you guys. Like I said, I have 12 eyeshadow palettes that are that I've selected for one way, reason or another that are kind of just inspiring me for January. I live in Minnesota, so January historically is one of the colder months. Usually not quite as cold as February, but it's a cold, wintry month. We don't yet have snow on the ground in Minnesota. I think we're going to go with a snowless Christmas, which is a little bit sad. I'm filming this on the 23rd. Um, but I wanted to do, I wanted blues frosty wintry sort of vibes i really fell in love with blue eyeshadow last year and so i really want to bring that into january with me because i feel like january just screams blues to me we'll start just with my natasha denona midi i don't have i'm just going to show you guys like what it looks like again i was kind of going for like mauve tones also or like dusty purples also kind of give me the wintry sort of feelings i don't have every single shade mapped out for you guys maybe i'll share on my instagram i'll try and be better about sharing on my instagram like i'll share a picture of this and then i'll list out the different shades that i have from each different palette um so shameless plug go follow me on instagram i'm going to try and be better in 2024 about instagram as well 
but this is what my palette is looking like and i'm so excited to just reach into this and try and get use out of more natasha denona shades as a whole in my collection by creating fun little palettes that i put together myself so this is my natasha denona custom palette for the month okay let's get into the palettes that i picked for my winter inspiration i have three quads that i have selected the first one being this from aether beauty it is the amertine crystal quad this really beautiful kind of mob toned like purpley sort of palette this is really beautiful obviously it's a quad so you're pretty limited in what you can do in terms of looks but i actually have used this palette to create full looks many times and so i'm really thinking on some of the days that i am dashing out the door to work and just don't really want to think about my makeup but do want to wear makeup this is an easy reach for me and it does kind of give me the winter feeling i'm really excited to reach into this i really loved this when i first got this and feel like i got away from mauve looks for a while but i was i kept saying i don't love purples anymore last year and then i don't know if you caught i believe the video was posted yesterday 100 looks throughout the year that i created i loved all my purple looks so i'm excited to reach into that I also am pulling out my Pat McGrath Interstellar Icon Quad. I think this is so beautiful. And all four of these shades kind of give me winter feelings. We have your blue. I have this deep sort of plum shade. Then we have this like golden pink, really beautiful, kind of like champagne, just very punchy on the eyes, really beautiful shade. And then this like deeper brownie, taupey, satin, glittery not satin <laughs> sort of shade i don't know i really do like this quad i feel like i don't reach for it enough but it is like my favorite quad that pat mcgrath has come out with and it gives me all the winter feels so we're reaching for this in january and then the third quad i grabbed for is this one from lh cosmetics i don't really know why this is giving me like january this is what the quad looks like it could be that i started trying this for the first time last january but I also feel like the shade Crush, Love, and even Passion kind of have like a snowy sort of feeling to them. And I really like this quad when I'm feeling like a look is looking a little bit duller than I want. Or I just want like a little bit of sparkle on the eyes. And by a little bit, I mean like a very sparkly lid. This is a great quad to reach into. So even if I'm doing like, you know, maybe even a bronzer in the crease, but I still want like a wintry look on the eyes i could just toss crush all over the lid and i've got it so this is another really easy reach all right i actually have two nars palettes that i'll be including and these are really neglected this year so up first i have the nars climax palette this palette is not my favorite nars palette it feels like everybody loves this nars palette i personally really struggle with the mattes in this palette but I really, really, really love this palette for the metallic shades because they are so intense and foiled on the eyes. They're kind of like that chunkier texture that's a little bit sticky that is definitely not everyone's cup of tea, but I personally really love it. I love the color story of this palette too. It's giving cool tone. It's giving January. I love that we have this blue down here. Even the greens are giving more like January green to me, which what does that even mean? I'm honestly not sure, but... Um, I definitely feel like I'm more likely to reach for this palette in the winter, so I would like to reach for that in January. And then also the NARS Stargaze palette. This was their holiday release. I believe it was last year. This is what this is looking like. A little bit more outside of my comfort zone. I'm not a huge reds person, and I will say this is not my favorite color story that NARS has ever created, but I love this lavender purple shade it is more of a satin and i really love the nars formula like i definitely can get a lot of use out of these two shades these are absolutely beautiful um then we have some more of the like chunkier kind of stickier metallics and even like this deep purple i feel like is so pretty for this time of year obviously this was their holiday release last um last holiday so well at least in the states it's winter here it's given winter it's giving winter it's giving january okay this next palette it might confuse you in terms of like what i've been talking about but this is the sugar pill fun size palette and specifically i want to focus on these two shades up here there is something about the shade eight bit this eight bit this is my favorite shade in the entire palette this really beautiful periwinkle sort of shade this encompasses the month of january in my opinion like i look at this and i'm like january and then i also feel like i could get some use out of this shade right here this is giving this is giving january as well so 
you know i also feel like this palette was something i was focused on in my no pan left behind january february of last year so that could be part of it but like i'm telling you this periwinkle shade it's on my lids today january all right next up i have the ColourPop on cloud nine palette i am still testing this and i also feel like just because it is more cool toned this is kind of giving me this is like the shades i'm thinking of too kind of like these like boring like this is like reminding me of like sleet on the ground like just like kind of like dirty winter snow but like on the eyes that sounds so appealing correct <laughs> also i feel like this shade totally serious um it's this really beautiful kind of silver sky blue shade which i just also feel like really encompasses what i think of when i think of january i'm really curious to try the shade look up on the lids it is it like it's kind of like this textured glitter wow that is really pretty that is really pretty but definitely more silver than i typically go for i'm still testing this i feel like it's a perfect month to be testing this again it's giving me all the january feels even though i like do i even see clouds in january the palette is on cloud now i don't think i do but anyway all right then i have i also want to try and include one pat mcgrath palette in every month that i do this just to try and get more use out of my pat mcgrath palettes so i'll have to you know look through my collection each month and see which palette is screaming that month at that time but this was a no-brainer this is the sub i think the sub subliminal palette this is what this looks like again kind of looks really boring sometimes i think of like blah and boring as january too like it's so cold outside in minnesota you really want to do nothing you kind of just like lounge around when you're home and you're just kind of like meh, meh, if you if you don't love winter and i don't really love winter so this is kind of like giving that and even though like that sounds really mean like this palette looks extremely boring like i remember seeing pictures of this and even for years after this palette i was like that looks like the most boring palette ever this is such a beautiful palette and you can really create some beautiful fun looks if you just even mix like any of these three shades i have really really enjoyed using this palette we have this bright blue here which i feel like is perfect for january as well as this really beautiful like really really beautiful lid topper shade with like blue sparkle running throughout like if that does not screen the month of january in minnesota to you i honestly don't know what will i'm like do i need to pop that lid topper okay i might need to just add a little bit of that to the lid too yes okay yes all right next up i have the adept minka palette and this is definitely screaming like new year's to me like it's giving holiday vibes but i also feel like i can bring this into january <laughs> with me i mean if i wore this for new year's eve it would literally bring me to january unless i went to bed super early of course i didn't switch my camera battery out and it's gonna die there is this really beautiful shade luna so the metallics in here are this like molten metallic really creamy really intense texture and i think i can have so much fun with the shade luna minka is kind of giving snow angel vibes um and then the shade maya is this really beautiful almost like i'm thinking of like a nutcracker princess um this like pink silvery shade really beautiful you've got some purples in here hopefully you know maybe the vikings will a miracle will happen and we'll make the playoffs and i can wear purple on my eyes for that we'll see we'll see what january brings but the minka palette is another one and then i have three odin's eye palettes to wrap it up with so up first i have the jewels and gem palette and this is what this palette looks like i feel like everything about this screams like wintry winteriness to me january and even bringing me into february like maybe like the very last month or the last week of january i can be reaching into like the purpley pink tones as we head into the month of love <laughs> um but these shades down here very very much give me like the blues that i'm kind of looking for the shade high is this really beautiful like green greenish sort of shade and the shade rhapsody is such a beautiful can i swatch it just such a beautiful like it's like that perfect like champagne with like a blue and pink iridescence running throughout it i love that shade pure perfection then we have the norns palette from odin's eye and this just 
screams winter to me. You've got these plums that kind of scream winter. These bottom shades minus the shade Glamour are very much like the bluey, purpley, frosty, snowy sort of shades that are giving me inspiration. Um, I also, you know, you have, you know, some Christmas colors here, which I know Christmas is in December, but it kind of like takes you like from Christmas and like still gives you the vibes of Christmas, even though Christmas is over and we're waiting like another 11 and a half months for it, 11 months, 12 months, whatever. Um, I also feel like I really, this might be on its last leg. This palette really might be on its last leg. It's getting older in my collection and there are, there's at least one shade from this palette on my lids today and I was like this might be the last year this is in my collection because I feel like the quality is starting to decline and then the last palette is the Christmas Eve palette from Odin's Eye I mean I just don't even feel like I really have to say anything this is literally winter in a palette so beautiful I love all of the cool tones um and I'm just so excited to continue to play around with this the shade slivery dream this beautiful satin taupey shimmer sort sort of shade sort of shade i'm so excited about and i also have been looking up inspo on this palette and i saw a really beautiful yellow look i'm like yes i need to do a yellow look even though like yellow is not the vibe in january but i will absolutely be reaching for this palette as well come this january okay you guys i truly cannot tell you the last time that I did my like face makeup before my eyes. It's possibly been years. So I'm a little bit nervous, a little bit nervous about the fallout situation and what's gonna happen. And I'm always really hesitant to do my eye makeup on camera because one, I have like a vision in mind today and I don't know if we're gonna execute. Like I don't know if I'm possible, if I, if I am capable of executing in the way that I want and I just like ah I just don't feel like I feel like with my hooded downturned eyes I don't always have like the best blend going on but I do have a vision in mind today I want this like frosty frosty look essentially and I'm thinking there's a very specific periwinkle shade that I want to use but that I want it to look like a frosty like snow fairy on my eyes essentially so I'm going to start by priming my lids. The eye primer that I am currently using is just the one from Fenty Beauty. So we're just going to put some primer on the lid. Okay, I literally have all of the palettes that I want to focus on that are giving me January inspiration laid out in front of me. And I want to try and use as many as possible. But like I said, I have a very specific, like, frosty look in mind. So we're going to see how this, this works. I'm first going to go in with the ColourPop on Cloud 9 palette and I'm just going to use this white shade actually to set my lids. I do think I'll actually end up going in with a white base on the lid. I think I'm going to end up using, oh wow, that is sticky. Ooh. Oh no, already we're off to a really, really bad start. Holy schmooks. Okay. That Fenty primer is not like it kind of it's sticky but if I don't set it in the correct amount of time it really can mess with my eye makeup I feel like okay well we're gonna just do the best we can I wonder if I do this I'm gonna take a little bit of that white powder on a fluffier brush okay we already might have some things that we need to fix here probably would have been smart for me to not take the white all the way up the lid but it's okay it's okay okay i know okay the specific periwinkle shade that i want to use is the shade 8 bit out of the sugar pill bite size palette i know i want to use that i'm looking at everything and everything is like making me so happy and feel so like wintry that I literally want to use like every shade. But you know what? We can't do it. I only have two eyelids. Okay. But first I wanted to lay down almost like a really light blue in the crease, which I don't necessarily have exactly what I was looking for. So my thought is this could go south. 
feel like I'm going to be saying that a lot. I'm going to mix a little bit of this shade in my custom Natasha palette. And I'm really sorry, you guys, about popping these all out. I don't know what shade this is. It looks like it might be out of the Zendo palette, potentially. But I'm going to mix this with a little bit, in, in honor of trying to use as many shades as possible, with a little bit of this lavender shade out of the NARS stargaze palette and the nars stargaze that lavender is a little bit more of like a satin like it has a sheen to it oh boy and we're just gonna see what happens almost nothing <laughs> okay hold on let me just start with just that blue i'm just worried yeah it's a little bit deeper than i'm wanting a little bit deeper than i had in mind but that's okay I feel like mixing that purple in with the blue is almost making it look like a bruise. So, what do I wanna do? Maybe I should just slow down and just use this blue or I could mix the blue with a little bit of, even potentially like this cloud, cloud watching this gray we're gonna try that and see if i get more of like what i have in mind because right now it's a lit it's a little bit darker than i wanted but like not by too much actually and i'm just gonna really blow that into the crease especially because i took that white shade so high i would like to kind of diffuse that a little bit Okay, I'm actually not hating what's happening. Okay, this is a little bit, not ex well, actually, you know what? I actually kind of like the shade. I feel like I'm looking like I belong on the Drew Carey show right now, currently, but we're gonna fix it. As in like, things are happening over here. Okay, next I'm gonna take that the shade 8-bit out of the uh, Sugar Pill Bite Size. And I was thinking of trying to do a bit of a Halo Eye, which I always get nervous about because Halo Eye is just like, they just, you know, sometimes do not end up looking great on me. But we're gonna give it a whirl. So just going in on the inner and outer th third of my eye with that shade <laughs> okay now I'm noticing that like I really like the base matte that look like I like that shade but I don't know that it necessarily goes with the periwinkle but it's all gonna come together in the end right we're gonna make this work Okay, my thought is to, I have that, I have that there. Like, maybe I need to, I probably need to like blend this a little bit so it's a little bit more seamlessly blended. Okay, I think I'm gonna try and build it up just a little bit more. Oh no, I'm seeing the fallout. Okay, I added just a little bit more to kind of <laughs> deepen it up. Okay, my thought is I do want to use a shade out of my Oracle Chrome Highlighter Palette from Bella Beauté Bar. Bella Beauté Bar. I actually purchased this more to be like an inner corner highlighting palette or just a palette that I can use these shades all over the lid. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, I actually do have a code with Bella Beauté Bar. It's, it's just stuff. Um, if you're ever purchasing anything on the website, some of you already have used my code. Thank you so much. That honestly means so much to me. Never any pressure, but if you're interested in saving money. Um, okay, you guys, I was kind of between the shade The High Priestess, The High Priestess and The Magician. I think I'm going to go with The Magician because it is a little bit more purple based, whereas The High Priestess priestess has a little bit more it looks a little bit more like blue green on the lids um but i think i also just want to put a little bit of like a deeper shimmer on the outer and inner like and i'm i've been looking at all the palettes 
it's so tough it's so so tough i'm like what do i want to do on the outer i a part of me kind of wants to use the shade self just because i feel like that purple it's not like the most impactful shimmer but i feel like just a little bit of that purple on the lids will be really pretty i also have oh dang i feel like my <clears throat> I feel like my Odin's Eye Norns palette is like on its last leg. I also have the shade Charming from that, which could also be really pretty. Maybe I'll use Charming. I'm also looking at this. Oh yeah, that's that's going to be too deep. Okay, okay. I think I'm going to go with a little bit of the shade itself out of the Odin's Eye Norns palette. But first I need to lay down a glitter glue. So just going in with a little bit of my NYX glitter glue and i for some reason always use a brush to like lay down my glitter glue i don't know why i think maybe because i feel like i'm more precise with a brush as opposed to my finger i feel like it gets like places i don't want it to go i definitely have a little bit of like periwinkle fallout on the eye right there okay let's see how this ends up looking on this eye i'm gonna take a small brush and i feel like this is Oh, okay, we got a little bit picked up. I'm like, I feel like this is one of those shades that definitely is better with a finger, but I'm just gonna, on the very edge of like where it's like lid and then that periwinkle shade, just tap a little bit of that on. And I'm like, okay, this is now like a little bit deeper than that periwinkle. So I don't know if this is gonna work how I wanted it to. Maybe I actually need to kind of lay it over that periwinkle shade let's see what happens when we do that oh my gosh i'm getting so much fallout now okay putting my glitter glue down on the other side i feel like honestly like in my head i'm regretting adding that shade out of the norns palette i'm like girl you have this like ethereal frosty idea in your head and then you always have to go and add something deep to the look yeah, like just keep it simple. Okay, so we did that. Now I'm gonna go in just with, oh, I forgot. I wanna use this white base. So I'm just gonna go in with my NYX um, Jumbo Eye Pencil and lay down a white base on the center of the lid. So that hopefully it pops a bit. And then I'm just gonna take my finger in the shade Magician out of the Oracle palette and just like press that into the center. The white base is making it like <laughs> a little more intense than I had even imagined it would be. Okay, I have glitter fallout on my face and like trying to be patient with myself. Okay let's do it's so much more like oh i like why this is why i do not do halo eyes it never turns out okay well what can we do now we can try to take a little bit of 8-bit and maybe bring it across so it doesn't look as crazy is that helping i don't know okay i feel like maybe <laughs> on camera it looks I feel like crazier than it looks in person, but maybe it really does look crazy in person as well. I don't know. I feel like I like in person. I like it except for now I'm like, there's so much blue going on up here and I feel like it's like all like way more purple on the lids. I'm gonna add some liner to the upper lash line and potentially try and do a little wing here to see how that helps this look. And I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I don't know how much better it is, but I did add a wing and I actually just used a shadow to create the wing and I use the shade Christmas Eve out of the Odin's oh, Eye Christmas Eve palette. Yay, we got to, uh, we got to use the shade out of this. I actually think I'm gonna go in with the shade Wonderful, this like lavender lilac -y sort of shade. Keep feeling like I keep like aggressively putting my hair over my shoulder. Um, okay, I'm a little bit nervous because this might end up being deeper than I want. Is it gonna be? Well, see there is so much fallout on my face this is why i do not do my eyes first ever okay that might end up being 
a little bit deeper than I was hoping for. Okay, I might also bring this shade um, across the lower lash line like a third of the way. For the rest of the lower lash line, I'm just gonna take 8-bit out of the Sugar Pill Bite size palette and just buff that out. Okay, I'm gonna go add lashes, or not lashes, I'm not a lash girly, I'm gonna add mascara. And we'll be back. Hey, right, mascara is on, look is done. I'm gonna add a little bit of gloss and I'm just using the Fenty, Fenty Beauty Hologram lip gloss. And this is the final look. I feel like in person, like in person, I feel like I actually do like the way that this looked on camera. I'm like, do I like it? I'm not sure. I'll post a picture over here. Hopefully that I can like capture this better. I'll take it outside in natural light. Right now it's uh, still 6.30 in the morning. So it's pitch black out and so like sometimes I'm like I feel like my lights are like washing things out I don't hate it in person it definitely is not exactly what I had in mind but it definitely does give me like the January wintry vibes and it's definitely something I've never created like I've never created a look quite like this before um and I'm I'm actually pretty happy with it I will say sometimes I feel like halo eyes don't work for my eyes because this eye and I hate to point this out because now I feel like you'll never be able to unsee it but this eye and it looks it's so obvious right now too. I feel like you see more of this lid than you do this lid. And then when I do the halo eye, I'm like, okay, we're looking a little crazy. But I'm also really happy because, and this is not the way I plan to like do my makeup the majority of the year. But when I do these videos where I do like the monthly inspo, I wanna use as many palettes as I can in the video where I do a look. And I was able to use four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight palettes today we ended up using eight palettes to create this look again not how I typically want to do my makeup but it's fun to kind of like lay everything out and have a look in mind and then use the shades to create the look so that is going to wrap it up for today's video would love your feedback in the comments below if you have any other suggestions or ideas on what you want to see me take away or maybe add to this series I do want to know do you want me to include a clip where I it wouldn't be a like it would be a long section should I include in this video me creating a Natasha Denona custom palette should I not include it at all should it be its own separate video let a girl know in the comments below other than that thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting my channel as you guys always do I love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next video bye